Hello guys. So I'm going to start this session. Before moving forward, please subscribe the channel. This session is all about uh, how to handle the database project in Visual Studio, how to do the incremental deployment from it using uh, Azure. So guys, uh, I have just opened the Visual Studio. There you can see I have created one project. Uh, it is a database project in SSDT uh, called trial database. So in database, you can see uh, you will having uh, three table just for the sample. As of now, I have just uh, created three script for the table. You can add for stored procedure. You can add for the views and you can add for anything. So how you should create this project. You can go to file new project. You can just go to SQL server and you can just select the SQL database project. Okay, so for this template, you should have the SSDT installed in your Visual Studio. So I have done this already and created few tables. Now you just you need to check the property. What should be the output folder? What should be the target platform? Okay, so target platform I would suggest like you should go to your SQL server first. Just check the version uh, using the, this command select at the rate, at the rate version and you can find it. Your SQL server points to 2017. So you should sync this SQL server version with your Visual Studio database project as this one SQL server 2017 just control it and you can just uh, build the project. It generally takes time like once you build it, it will create a deckpack file for you. What is deckpack file? So deckpack file contains it, it is a kind of an a form in which it creates a SQL script for for all your objects present in your uh, DB. So you can just go to the your folder path and you can check. I mean where it is uh, actually creating the deckpack file for you. You can just go to bin. Uh -huh, so yes, see, see that is SQL server deckpack file. OK, so that's done. So the next process is to check in this code to Git. Why we are checking it to Git from like from Git, we can just connect to Azure and Azure can pick your changes and we will create a build pipeline for it. So uh, I have already checked into Git. So for your uh, reference, I can just uh, sh show you. So here I'm in Git in, in uh, repo. I can just uh, check. See, these are my uh, this is my database uh, project. I have already done. I mean all those changes, but uh, I will going to show you. I mean what I have done to deploy this database project using Azure and the final output you will see in this DB. Sure. So next move to the build pipeline. So what is build pipeline? Build pipeline will take your project and just build it and create a deckpack file for the release. For release, you required that deckpack file. So this is the trial database deck pack, which uh, uh, this is the pipeline which I have uh, created. I will just edit it to show what all settings I have uh, chosen. I mean, while building this uh, pipeline. That is the build solution task that basically build my solution and create a deck pack. That is a copy file to build artifact staging directory. It means once my solution is built, it will copy my deck pack and will paste it to the artifact staging directly so that it will be picked from there for the deployment. Next is like the same like the drop folder in is just the path where it, it has to be a dropped. So you can see display name source folder is fine. Content is fine. All those I mean component present in bin, bin you have to pick for the release. You can just add an extra filter to pick only the deckpack file. Uh, so we come to this public task. So that all looks fine. So for uh, as you require an agent to run your process. So this is the agent. So once it is done, you can just queue this task and click run. So for my case, it is already built. OK, and now so for this, I mean like your Azure needs to communicate with your SQL server that is present on your local machine that is an on premises uh, database. So how your Azure will going to connect with your SQL that is done by the Azure client. So for Azure client, you need to create the deployment groups. It basically groups your task which you, you want to deploy. So for this, I have created an deployment group called a work. OK, so for your reference, I will just show you I mean, how you, you need to create a new one. Like you can give a test name. 
you can do this any description you can just create okay this is already exist uh, let me just change the name so see once you have created this deployment group so it created a powershell script what you need to do you need to copy this powershell script you need to open your uh, windows powershell and you need to execute this command what this will do it will install this agent on your local machine this agent will communicate as a client and server between your azure and your sql database okay so now move to the release part so in release you can see i will just show you the last i mean the release i have used my build to release this pipeline so what I, I have created in this release, you have to choose the artifact which you want to deploy. So for my case, the source was trial database build. You can always mark the latest, but I here I know, I mean, that, that this version I need to deploy it. So I have chosen this version. You can go to, you can go back. You can just go to this task. So here you need to uh, add one task, I mean, which is the deploy using a DAC pad. So what it, ask basically it says how you want to deploy your database so we are choosing the using sql deck you can choose an uh, query file you can choose an inline okay. uh, so now is the deck pack so you need to give the path of your deck pack so once you click on that it will go back to the build pipeline which you have created there once your pipeline is created it will drop your artifact into the drop folder you need to just choose the path of your deck pack if like for you need to give, give the server name you need to give the database name okay the trial database as name and you can choose the windows authentication here the agent will will do all those authentication work here and you can just save the changes and you can just click on the create release to deploy this database onto our on-premises sql server if it is not there it will create a new one otherwise it will create the incremental changes you can also i mean in your visual studio project there is an option to if you mark it it will only deploy the incremental changes okay so i have created the release let's check the status here so it says in progress uh, let's wait for some time so so you can see the build the release has been success so as the release is successful i'll just take back to you when i just uh, added that release pipeline just show you some settings i forget to show you that the deployment group like you needed to choose the deployment group which you have created there as work and you can tag any tag here like home i mean like you can tag as database you can tag at the web server so what is the use of deployment group you can categorize your deployment like all database can deploy first all web servers can deploy um, second time so you can just i mean uh, give the order i mean these tags are very useful to categorize your uh, deployment now we can just go to the sql server we can just refresh the server and we can check if so you can see the trial database is there and there was some objects so they are present there so that's all so what we have done uh, we have created a visual studio project and after that we have checked in our code to git from git we have created a build pipeline which whose output was a deckpack file and after that we create a, re a release pipeline what release pipeline do it picks the deckpack file and there is a tool internally that is sql package.exe which helps to deploy deck pack onto your server and thereafter we uh, in this process we have used the deployment group using that deployment group we have copied the powershell and deploy onto our local machine so that it communicates with the azure and we at the same time your sql server so that's the guys the session is complete thanks